Hey Facebook, for those of you that do not know who I am, my name is Sarah and I am an exercise physiologist and nutritionist and I specialize in helping everyone find their healthy balance between exercise, nutrition, and daily life. So I thought I would hop on here today because it's Monday, it's supposed to be Motivational Monday, but I think some of us fail to talk about insecurities and I know that a lot of people look at me and they're like, are we back? We're back, we're back. He was paused there for a second. Um, a lot of people look at me and they think because I have a fit body and my nutrition's on point, I get to exercise majority of the week, that I am not insecure. And that is true when it comes to my body, I am very confident and I have struggled with weight years ago when I was young uh, when I was young, I did. I held on to my baby fat for a long time. You can ask some of my childhood friends, and I like to eat the potato chips. I like to eat the cookies and the cake. If I was invited to someone's house for a sleepover, I was the first to bring like the satchel of the goodies, and everyone would laugh, but that was me. And Christina, how are you? Thank you guys for joining. For everyone watching on replay, if you have an insecurity, I want to know, you don't have to tell me what your insecurity is, but I think that's just human nature. We all have insecurities. So if you have an insecurity, if I'm not alone here, let me know, make me feel better about feeling insecure. And I'll let you know what my insecurity is here in a second. But yeah, in regards to the weight, now I do not have any insecurities when it comes to my body. Um, you know, cause I've learned, like even though I've had a daughter and I have weird veins going through my, my stomach, my nephews this vacation, they were like, uh, Aunt Sarah, what the heck is that vein? I have a legit thick vein that starts right here and it goes all the way down across my tummy. And I have that like huge gap. I think it's like a two or three finger gap. But you know, all that is, it's, it's very minor. I don't even care because I have a daughter, a beautiful daughter. She's healthy. I'm healthy, so that's all that matters, okay? But I do have recollection of when I was younger and my body was not like the other girls because they had trim little fit bodies and I had this little pooch right here. And it's just funny, fast forward 20 years, 30 years, and here, you know, I am the one that's preaching all about health and wellness and everything. So, um, Sarah Marie, how are you, my friend? How are you? Um, <clears throat> I do exude confidence. I am a very confident person. But something that you guys have no clue about me is that I still struggle with this insecurity. And that insecurity is my face, my skin. I will close up here, okay? And you can't see the lighting's weird. But I have, I still struggle with acne. Now, as a young girl going through adolescence, we all break out. It's just normal. Um, but I got it so bad because it's genetic. My mom had it and, and we have combination skin. So I have oily skin, I have dry skin. So around my mouth is always dry. Around here is always very oily. Um, and you know, through the years, Christian's in the house, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, just talking about a little acne here, Christian, no big deal. No big deal. Um, yeah, so when I was younger and I started getting blemishes and it got so out of control, I would sit there and cry every single day and I would beg my mother. I'm like, mom, I cannot go to school tomorrow. I am mortified. I'm so ugly. Everyone's staring at me. They don't even see me. They just stare at my pimples and just all my disgusting blemishes and no one wants to look at me. I don't even want to look at me. Like, I mean, I would look in the mirror and I would just cry and then I would sit there and I would pick at it. I would pick because I thought picking would make it go away and then I'd spend like hours trying to like cover it up with concealer and we all know how that goes. All, you know, that's why men don't struggle with acne as much as women. I know men do get acne but women do so much crap to their face and we add more. So the more that we put on our face, the worse it gets. And it's just, and we all know that picking never leads to anything good. So 
Um, but I, I literally, I talked my mom into letting me stay home some of the days because I was just that depressed and disgusted with myself that I refused. I'm like, I'm not going, I'm not going. And it, it always makes me think about it when I go on vacation because when I used to go to Florida, I mean, I have been blessed that since I was born, we go on family vacations every single year. That's something my parents never uh, took away from us. They always made sure no matter what, we take one family vacation every year and that's something I will maintain for the rest of my life with Presley. Uh, I think it's just very important for family bonding but also for relaxation purposes. And um, I, I remember that first day, you know, everyone's like usually very like aware of the sun and skin cancer and sun damage and everything. So you're like lathering up, like especially your face, like with 50 SPF. I would go in hopes to burn the heck out of my face. I wanted to burn every bit, every inch of my face. So my acne would dry up and I could just like peel off my skin and it would just, I would just start fresh. So it was a nasty, disgusting mess. And my mom begged of me. She was like, Sarah, this is terrible for your skin. This is terrible. Do not do this. And I was like, just in tears, like, mom, I'm so disgusting. I just want to burn the heck out of my face so I don't have to see my acne anymore. And it kind of like almost, and some of you watching may be like, Sarah, you're like, you're cr oh, this girl's crying over acne but I'm just putting this out there to let you guys know like obviously this was something that was very 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 hard and I didn't even plan on crying right now but I understand I can relate to you whether you're overweight you have depression you have something going on that you are embarrassed of I can relate I can and what like I think it's like hormonal things. I need to get it together. I need to get it together. Woo! Woo! And I think it's because I, you know, my daughter's eight months. I'm still going through the hormones and everything. But I started breaking out really bad. Like I've I've been blessed the past couple months to have you know like really good skin compared to what I've had like in my previous years. And, you know, when I got pregnant, I think it was like the pregnancy hormones that were helping out. And then after, um, you know, I had her, oh, Fernanda, thank you so much, sweetheart. You're beautiful too. Um, so my skin was really good, but for some reason, like a couple days ago, my skin went haywire. And I think it's just from being stressed out and worried about like the flight with Presley and then getting back and all that stuff with the travel. It was a relaxing trip, but at the same time I got sick and, you know, worrying about an eight month old on flights and being, you know, quiet because you don't want to be a nuisance to anyone. I don't know if it was that was what was happening, but I, my face started breaking out really, really bad for the first time in like two years. And I got all those feelings again. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like, is this gonna just get, keep getting worse? And all those feelings started coming back and I started thinking, oh my gosh, I don't wanna, go, like, I don't wanna go out in public. I, I'm just gonna be a hermit and stay in the house and I'm just gonna work from home and I have to cover up with makeup now and I gotta do all this. Like, I mean, my mind just went crazy, okay? So, I can relate to you. Every single person that has insecurities, I know how that feels, tenfold. I can relate. I want to be as transparent with you guys as, as possible because I think sometimes people say, Sarah, you're like not, human or you're not normal or you're not relatable or whatever it is but I'm here to tell you that I am I am the pimple face girl with oily skin that still uses I don't know do you guys know like those oil blotters like oil of Olay makes those little like oil blotters well I have that stash in my purse I have one in my car I have one in my bathroom and you better believe before I go out I'm blotting away I still blot 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 I'm still you know, worried about breakouts. I still have all the same insecurities, but luckily through age, I don't have, you know, the serious problems like I used to. But I thought I'd come on here and let you know that I'm real, I can relate to you. If you have insecurities, you need to realize too that it's 
you are the one. So I was the one that was making such a big deal. And I thought so many people were judging me and that were, they were going to see that and think I was so ugly and disgusting and ew, like I don't want to talk to her. And like the boys didn't want to date me because of my acne and no one cares. So, and I have some friends that are like, I wouldn't dare put a bikini on and go to the beach because everyone's going to be judging me and all that. But you know what? Exuding confidence overseas over it, it just surpasses any little thing like being slightly overweight having acne having you know your hair falling out in certain little areas or your hair thinning if you exude confidence and you just own it and you just say the hell with it accept me the way i am whether you like it or not then that's going to be so much more appealing and and attractive and sexy and whatever and no one's even going to see those little things so I just want to say that for any of you that are struggling with insecurities, I know how it is and you need to just try your best to understand that you are your worst critic and that you are the ones you're the one you're the one that's seeing the worst in yourself. And that's really sad, but other people do not even see half of what you see. Because here the past couple of days I'm thinking like everyone's looking at my acne. No one probably even realizes it, like one bit. So Stay strong, stay confident, and know that you are not alone. And if any of you have any questions or you want to reach out to me about any insecurities or you want help with anything or you want any advice on anything, let me know. I can do what I can do. Um, but I've learned it's all the power of your mind and getting your mind right. And my boy Ryan Brown, I don't know if he's going to have time to watch this, but... He and I are doing a Facebook Live tomorrow night. I'm super excited. Excited. Um, it's going to be in my community group. And he has a little community group. So he knows the stuff. And I love watching him because I feel like I'm like training my mind. And we all know that unless our mind's right, nothing else is going to be right. So we got to get our mind right. And then we're going to live right. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say for today. I probably took up a little bit more of your time than I expected. I did not expect to cry, so I apologize. But know that this is real. Okay? Happy Monday, and I'll talk to you soon.